Hi, welcome to the mathcenter.com. In this video, we will look at one question, number 34, which appeared in this exam, the October-November 2019 AS physics exam, uh, subject code 9702, paper 1-1. Question number 34. Before we look at it, um, Please uh, give this video a like and share as much as you can. Please follow me on Facebook and YouTube. Okay, the um, question reads like this. Kirchhoff's two laws for electric circuits can be derived by using conservation laws. On which conservation laws do Kirchhoff's laws depend? Now this one, you should know it straight off. Yeah, Straight off, you don't need to... Uh, do a lot, do any thinking about this. Uh, Kirchhoff's first law uh, depends on the conservation of charge, and Kirchhoff's second law uh, depends on the is based on the conservation of energy. Again, Kirchhoff's first law is based on the conservation of charge, and Kirchhoff's second law is based on the conservation of energy. So the correct response is B. Uh, but I've given you some notes here for you to refer. Okay, very quickly, this is Kirchhoff's first law and Kirchhoff's second law. We In Kirchhoff's first law, uh, we are looking at uh, a junction in the circuit. We are saying that the sum of currents in must be equals to the sum of currents out. Yeah, Again, sum of currents in must be equals to sum of currents out. And so, it is based on the conservation of charge. So, I like to teach it like this in my class, what comes in must go out. For Kirchhoff's second law, okay, we are looking at, it's based on the conservation of energy. This side here is the energy supplied in a closed loop, okay, the energy supplied. And this part here, this one here is summation, yeah, this notation here. This is your energy dissipated in a closed loop. They must be equal, yeah. So, um... Again, Kirchhoff's first law is based on the conservation of charge and Kirchhoff's second law is based on the conservation of energy. Yeah. Okay, thank you.